students how are you today I hope you are fine welcome to our lesson today but first let's listen our school vision the school vision to prepare for well-educated students who are able to establish civilized aware reserved society stick to the authentic morals and values in addition to using the modern technology our lesson today is top time two you will find this lesson in your student book page 41 and your workbook page 33 our objective for today is to read and answer the question correctly let's start our lesson for today with a new vocabulary Of course, we know the antelope. Antelope, it's animal. It's an animal that lives in the desert. It eats leaves, grass, and fruit. Let's listen to the vocabulary one more time. Talk time two. One. Vocabulary. Antelope. Now, let's move to our workbook, Activity 1, page 33. Read and circle. First, we have to look at the pictures and then read and circle the correct answer. Number 1, grasshoppers, antelopes have got horns. Which one that have got horns? Of course, very good. The antelopes, very good. Number two. The gongs or whales live in the waters round cutter. Excellent, very good. Number three. The sand fox lives in sandy or wet areas. Of course, in the sandy areas. Whales live on land or in the sea. Excellent! In the sea, the sand fox eats. Excellent! Grass hoppers very good let's go back again to our student book 
Now I want you to look at activity 2. What do you think about our lesson today? What can you see? Of course, pictures of three different animals. Do you know or any of the animals in the pictures? What do you think the text is about? It is about endangered animals in Qatar. What do you think? Why we must protect endangered animals? That we will know through our lesson today. Now, let's listen to our text. Two. What do you know about the animals in the pictures? Read and check your answers. Endangered animals in Qatar. The Qatari government is working together with conservation groups, universities and zoos to protect many endangered animals on land and in the sea. Here are some animals we must all take care of and protect. 1. The Arabian Oryx The Arabian Oryx lives in Qatar and in some other parts of the Middle East. It's a medium-sized antelope and it mainly eats grass, but it also eats leaves and fruit. It lives in the desert, and it can live for about two weeks without water. 2. Sand Fox The sand fox lives in dry and sandy areas of the Middle East and North Africa. It has got fur on the pads of its feet to protect it from the hot sand, and it comes out mostly at night. It eats fruit, smaller animals like lizards, mice and birds, and insects like grasshoppers and spiders. 3. Dugong The dugong lives deep in the waters round Qatar and other areas round the world. It has got a tail that looks like a whale's and can weigh over 400 kilograms. Dugongs eat seagrass and they can stay underwater for up to six minutes. Now I want you to pause the video for a while and read again one more time. Excellent! Now let me ask you some questions. What is the Qatari government doing to protect the endangered animals of Qatar. Excellent! It's working with the conversation groups, universities, and zoos to protect many endangered animals on land and in the sea. What is an Arabian oryx? It's a medium-sized antelope. Where does it live? It lives in Qatar and in some other parts of the Middle East. Also, it lives in the desert. What does it eat? Excellent! It eats grass, grass leaves and fruit. Very good! How long can it live without water? It can live without water for about two weeks. What has the sand fox got on its feet? It has got fur on the backs of its feet that protect it from the sand. Excellent. Good job, my dear students. When does it come out? It comes out at night. What does it eat? It eats fruit, smaller animals like lizards, mice, 
and birds. Where does the do the dogons live? Live it lives in waters round Qatar and other areas round the world. How much does it weigh? It can weigh over 400 kilograms. What does it eat? It eats sea grass. Excellent. Now let's move to activity three. Read and write T for true and F for false. The Qatari government protects land animals only. Of course, it's false. Very good. You can find the answer here. The Qatari government is working together with conversation groups, university and zoos to protect many endangered animals on land and in the sea. Number two, the Arabian oryx can live without water for about two weeks. Excellent! True, yes, you can find the answer here. It can live for about two weeks without water. Very good. Number three, the sand fox comes out in the day. Excellent, false. Very good students. It comes out mostly at night. Let's go to number four. The sand fox eats small animals like mice. I hear you. True, very good. Excellent, my dear students. Number five. The double hasn't hasn't got a tail. False, very good. It has got a tail that looks like a whale. Very good. Number six. The dog can't can stay underwater for sixteen minutes. False. Very good. They can stay underwater for up to six minutes only, not sixteen. That is our lesson for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for listening.